The current ratio is a liquidity ratio that measures a company's ability to pay short term and long term obligations. Current ratio is one of the most important liquidity ratio of a company. We can calculate total current assets divide by total current liabilities. The current ratio is also known as the working capital ratio. The current assets are varies from company to company and given available data. I have provide few famous list of current assets and current liabilities. It may helpful in the understanding of this concepts. If you want to DEP understanding current assets and current liabilities, then you will find in channel videos current assets and current liabilities. The link of these video is available in description of this video. Now we are going to explain more about current ratio. There is no hard and fast rule for acceptable current ratio. It is very from industry to industry and are generally between 1.5% and 3% for healthy businesses. If the current ratio less it means, it is not good for the company. A low current ratio may indicate a problem in meeting current obligations, it is not indicative of a serious problem. If an organization has good, long-term revenue streams, it may be able to borrow against those prospects to meet current obligations. If the current ratio is too much, high than industry average ratio, it is again not good for the business. If the value of a current ratio is considered high, then the company may not be efficiently using its current assets, specifically cash or its short-term financing options. So, the current ratio is equal to industry average ratio then it will consider a beneficial for a business. Limitations of current ratio No one ratio is a perfect measure of a company's financial health or of whether or not investing in a company is a wise decision. Limitation of using the current ratio emerges when using the ratio to compare different companies with one another. Because business operations can differ substantially between industries, Comparing the current ratios of companies in different industries with one another will not necessarily lead to any productive insight.